In a day and age in which people have very few options in healthcare other than drugs, surgeries, and injections, chiropractic offers an amazing natural alternative. Chiropractic is a health science that focuses on the spine, nervous system, and their combined total effects on the health of the entire human body. It's understandable that chiropractic has so many skeptics. I believe that part of the reason is that the medical establishment has set up itself as the authority within healthcare. When people think of healthcare, they think of medicine. The thing is that, unfortunately, many medical doctors don't really know what chiropractic is all about. So when people have to get information regarding chiropractic, they will be many times misinformed or they have a lack of information. So it's understandable that there will be many skeptics regarding chiropractic. The beauty of chiropractic is that, again, it focuses on the spine and nervous system, and those two things control everything. Now, conventionally, when people think of chiropractic, they think of lower back pain, they think of neck pain, they think of headaches, they think of joint pain. But the fact of the matter is that when you address the spine, any part of the body can potentially be improved upon. And I'll give you an example. There have been numerous patients that have come in with spinal aches and pains that have also suffered from things like asthma or digestive issues or fertility issues. And once the spine has actually re-attained its alignment properly and once the nerves are sending signals back to those areas, then oftentimes those conditions will improve. So chiropractic, in as much as it treats certain things, its main goal is to help to bring balance back to the nervous system by bringing the spine back into alignment. It's interesting because many people don't think of all the people that could benefit from chiropractic care. One of the least suspecting audiences are babies, as a matter of fact. If people think about it and they think about cesarean sections and how frequently people are having C-section births for their children, you can imagine the amount of stress that a baby will go through having pulled out of the womb. And as early on as birth, children can undergo tremendous amounts of spinal tension. Now, with chiropractic, there are a myriad of different techniques that can be employed, and some of them very, very gentle and effective for babies. So babies that suffer from colic, babies that suffer from things like indigestion or not latching on properly, gripe, all these things can be affected by that. Yeah, believe it or not. In addition to that, many people suffer from migraines, who suffer from headaches, ladies who suffer from menstrual problems, people that have been involved in motor vehicle accidents, people that suffer with sinus issues, all of these conditions can be helped with chiropractic because again, the spine is the conduit of the nervous system. The nerves help to reach all these different areas. The thing is that if proper nerve supply is not being reached at these areas, then the organs that they go to will malfunction. And it starts with a dis-ease, which leads to disease. So if you can actually find the areas in the spine that have nerves going to those areas and correct them, many times you can help to improve a myriad of conditions. Although many times when people think of chiropractic, they're many times apprehensive or afraid, the beauty of chiropractic is that it is incredibly safe. Part of its safety comes from the fact that a chiropractor is a highly trained professional that studies biomechanics, anatomy, neurology, differential diagnosis, to name a few. Regarding medical doctor referrals, unfortunately, in the Island Republic of Trinidad and Tobago, if you want your insurance to reimburse you, the answer is yes. You do have to be referred by a medical doctor. Hopefully, with some legislation and more education, then this will change in the near future. However, for everyone else, all you need to do is call your licensed and board certified chiropractor, create an appointment, and they'll be more than happy to see you. Granted, you still have to go through the process of the history, the consult, and the exam to make sure you're qualified. But in order to walk through the doors, you do not need an MD's referral. Many people will be surprised to know that chiropractors are actually highly trained physicians. Before you even enter chiropractic school, one has to undergo four years of undergraduate study. Once a person completes that, then they can apply to chiropractic school. Within chiropractic school, which consists of five academic years, you will go through the basic sciences, chiropractic sciences, and clinical sciences. Chiropractic students have to undergo anatomy, gross anatomy, neurology, biochemistry, physiology, differential diagnosis, lab diagnosis, to name a few. 
Now, where chiropractors differ from medical doctors is that our focus is primarily within the spine, the nervous system, and hands-on approach to care. So we do not employ the use of any drugs or surgery to achieve our desired results. The beauty is, because of the highly skilled training of chiropractors, we can actually find disease processes that are happening and prevent them from creating even more deleterious effects in the human body. So many times people are actually able to avoid things like the surgeries, avoid these expensive diagnostic tests, and avoid these incredible treatments that many times are non-reversible. So with chiropractic, it is easily one of the best choices that you can make for your body, for your life. One of the misconceptions regarding chiropractic is that people feel that they have to have pain in order to come into the chiropractor, and nothing could be further from the truth. Just like anything of value, it is often wise to get a checkup to find out if things are going on. The thing about the human body is that it's incredibly adept to adaptation. So the thing is, it usually takes about 60% of damage to the human body to occur before pain even registers to the brain. And pain is just a message from your body to your brain saying that something's wrong. Now, most times when we have pain, we pop a little pill and we ignore this cry from the body saying that something's actually wrong. So instead of doing that, it's wise to visit your chiropractor, do a simple history, a consultation, an examination, and the chiropractor with their skill will be able to identify areas within the body where these changes are happening, where things are not moving properly, where joints may be fixated or stuck, and where nerves are unable to send proper signals to the body. And in so doing, you can actually correct a disease, po you can correct a disease pattern before it even becomes or manifests into something worse. Many people may or may not know that I'm actually a second generation chiropractor. My father, Marlon S. Williams, is the first chiropractor in my family. Um, he stumbled upon chiropractic while he was training for the Olympic Games. He got hurt, was referred to a chiropractor, and fell in love with it. Now, growing up, I always knew that my father was a chiropractor, and I actually benefited from it myself. When I was about 10 or 11 years old, I suffered from debilitating cluster headaches. And through chiropractic care, I was able to overcome them. I haven't had a headache since. Um, even with that, though, I still wasn't really interested in chiropractic. I actually wanted to be a neurosurgery, neurosurgeon because I loved neurology. The beauty is that one year I came home to study, and while I was at home in the Virgin Islands where I grew up, I was able to work in his practice. I believe I was a rehabilitative assistant at that time, and I literally got to see miracles happen. You would see people come in many times in wheelchairs and they would walk out. You would see people singing their praises about how amazing that this service was. And of course, he got to make his own hours, he was his own boss, and it was this tremendously gratifying job. And it was at that point that I realized that this is what I want to do. So I pursued the studies, I put in the time, and in April 21st of 2007, I graduated as a doctor of chiropractic. I think in addition to that too, one of the reasons why I wanted to become a chiropractor is because I know what it's like to be in pain. I know what it's like to suffer. As a young boy, I did suffer from tremendous headaches and they're debilitating. And seeing people suffer many times unnecessarily without proper diagnoses, without real care, uh, it really does hurt my heart. I'm a very compassionate person. So by joining the chiropractic profession, it was my way of giving back and allowing people to heal naturally to create value in their lives so they can know what it means to be optimally healthy. And as much as anyone would benefit from chiropractic care from a licensed and board certified chiropractor, with Williams Chiropractic Clinic, my company, there is a tremendous difference. And I believe the difference comes in our dedication to service, our willingness to create value, and our compassion towards people. In addition to that, there's a tremendous amount of resource and patient education that occurs. Unfortunately, within the world, the Western world, and even in Trinidad and Tobago, there is a lack of information when it pertains to health. Many people will come to the doctor and they'll start to write prescription before they even hear what a person's story is. With my clinic, I like to make sure that I hear what a person is going through. What are their problems? What are their stresses? How did this condition that they came in for even come to be? So we genuinely care, and I feel that when it comes to caring and genuineness and sincerity, you can't fake that. And with Williams Chiropractic Clinic, that's one of our differences.